We are with Mr. Show Me The Money himself. Lean this way, turn this way a little bit, yep. McDonald's lock in. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the next installment in our series called Exploring McDonald's in Asia. Woo! We got Richie, we got Tan. We are in Singapore right now, and we are going to be trying every item off of the McDonald's Woo! Singapore menu. I'm excited for dessert. <laughs> We're across the street from the mall, which the McDonald's is located in. You guys right. ready to head there? Our favorite sandwich in Asia is the mixed spicy. So you gotta spicy. get four of those. We gotta get this one buttermilk oh. chicken. Mm -hmm. And craft the drinks by the McCafe. It's cool. Make sure we get this. I always believe in the JoJo. Ice Milo would be nice. Ice. All, right. All right, I think we're good. Think we're good. 89 Sing dollars. Don't worry, guys. We will bring the remainder of the meal back to somebody. If we don't get to finish it, it will not go to waste. Sauce trays basically look like sauce lids. This sauce is chili. Lid. Does it taste like sriracha mm. at all? It's different. It tastes like that Filipino chili sauce that comes in the bottle. Yo guys, we got our spread. I think we have one of every unique item you cannot get in America. Whew. I think we have to start off with the McSpicy. You gotta, right. this is milk time is sensitive. <laughs> I'm excited for the dessert. It's delicious. All right, guys, this is the Singaporean McDonald's McSpicy. I think Tan had the special. The double McSpicy. You know, what makes this sandwich special is wow. the mayo, the shredded lettuce. It's very simple. You guys just taste the spices within the patty of the meat there. That thigh meat. Yeah. Man. Dude, it's incredible. It's like oh, marinated, man. seasoned. Real quick, gonna dip my McSpicy into the sweet and sour sauce, because this is one of my favorite combinations in the world. Yeah. No. How does it compare to uh, the States right. sweet sour sauce? It's pretty similar. It's a little bit darker. I'm gonna try the uh, curry sauce. Curry, it's fire. Yeah. It's easily the highest end sauce. Like, you could put that with rice. Wow. And chicken. Like, I'm bringing that home. After this, I'm gonna get ten rainbow. Yeah, Richie, Man, that's gonna have a JoJo with me. Join me in the JoJo journey. Oh, the curry. Wow. Mm. I was saying when I first had the JoJos in the States. You get one of these JoJo's for every 10 JoJo's. Like, you get lucky to get a JoJo like this. Yeah. Every JoJo here is a soggy inside one. Ooh, Dude. they have achieved something with these JoJo's. To get them all in the sweet spot. Here, I have a beef burger with egg. It's worth getting. The barbecue sauce threw me off a little bit. It doesn't taste like a traditional barbecue sauce, but not bad, not bad. Right, the well. signature collection, guys, that's typically sort of a limited time thing. This wow. one's overflowing with mushroom right now. Holy that one looks really good. David, one this one looks crazy. I have a um, buttermilk chicken, but the thing is, they have a buttermilk chicken ranch at McDonald's in the States. I don't think they have the pineapple and the purple cabbage. Nah. I got the Supreme Signature Sandwich. It features pickled jalapeno. Steakhouse Pickle Angus. Angus. Would you say they were going for the high-end vibe on this? Sure. Yeah. It might be the uh, low-end in me, but uh, I prefer the egg barbecue sandwich over this. <laughs> I thought they did a good job on the caramelized onions, but definitely they could have used a sauce with some more kick. For a premium? Yeah, yeah, for sure. When it comes to the beef, I'm not really used to a fast food Angus beef. Okay. So when you do get it, texture is a little bit too soft for my liking. This is the buttermilk pineapple chicken. Tell us about the purple cabbage. It has the crunch, but aesthetically, there's not really a purple, you know, vegetable out there that's gonna make the, the sandwich pop. That pineapple is nice in there. This sandwich feels like it costed like 11 bucks in America. So far, that's gotta be the best sandwich I've ate. Chicken is done well in Asia. America is more of a beef, you know, centric country. Mm -hmm. Asia, really not that many cows around, you know? Let me cut up the Supreme one. My no least favorite. I don't like that, uh, that, that sauce. sauce. Yeah. Does it kind of taste like a meatloaf? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. I'm a fan. I like the pickle flavored stuff. For me, first, I think I might like it more than you guys. But no, it wasn't the greatest sandwich by all means. All right, who's a fan of the fish fillet? I know That's, I am. Let me put my Richie. hand up for not a fan. Well, David, you don't have to try this. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are a fan of the fish fillet, because I feel like that's one of the most polarizing sandwiches. The fish fillet, to me, is an underrated sandwich because people don't know about the bun. It's a steamed bun. Every bun is done the same, except the fish fillet. This but. is the double stack filet fish 
I think they are shipping up that fish from Alaska. This is good. I like this one. It needs more tartar. Yeah, it needs uh, even more sauce. And that you don't need to do a double. Sometimes, guys, the double is not worth it. Guys, this is one of my favorite things about McDonald's in Asia is that they have the wings. Are you guys uh, flats or drums? Oh, drumettes. Oh, I'm going with the drumettes. I'm going with Oh, those are different, right? Well, this is. We had this debate last time. Yeah, I don't want to get into it. But I'm not going to lie here. At McDonald's is kind of hard to tell which one is which. The McWings. Mm. It's more like a chicken nugget yeah. ready. Overall, pretty strong. Do you guys prefer the one in like Shanghai? This is a little easier to eat. Yeah. I like this one because you could dip with the curry sauce. Rich, you worked at fast food back in the day, right? You you know how to make fries. But he was at Arby's. I yeah. worked at McDonald's. Oh, any insight you can share on our favorite fast food chain? Everything dummy proof. You don't gotta know anything about McDonald's, but they will put you in and you're gonna be like making 60 burgers in an hour. That's how good you're gonna be. Uh, they, they got the system. Oh, they got the system down. Asian McFlurries. Wow. Okay, the Dino one has little crunchy This one as pieces. well. Yeah. yeah, this one as well. This was really good. I got the strawberry shortcake one. It tastes like a Nesquik ice cream. You guys, at the McCafe, I did secure cinnamon bites and um, chocolate delights. Wow. Let me... The bread on the cinnamon rolls is a little too dense for my liking. What do you guys think overall of the McCafe concept? In Asia, they tend to a little bit be more standalone or to the side. They have their own menu. In America, they just compressed it into a regular McDonald's. I would like to see the McCafe give you more of a cafe vibe in the lobby. Do you think that it would be successful in the US to bring that like standalone McCafe store? It's too different. Also, also the, I think the labor cost for making these drinks in America is too high. Because did you see that latte art that they were doing? Um, do they do that at McCafe's in America? I don't think look, so. Look, 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 look. In McDonald's, no one is a barista. They just make McCafe drinks. I got this flat white. This is an Australia coffee drink. You know, it's getting more popular in the States only at the specialty coffee shops. Some uh, Aussie, yeah. Pan, you have been singing the praises of this you banana chocolate. Up. You're hyping it up. You, you like chocolate, one? you like banana, you're gonna be in for a treat. Apple pie, chocolate banana pie. Maybe the apple pieces are a little bigger. Buy right in the middle to get half banana, half oh. chocolate, right? That's good. It reminds me of fr fried banana to some extent. I would have liked a little bit more of an artificial flavor. Tastes too real. You talk about banana custard, like, yeah. don't you know what it is. Like, too much like <laughs> banana, like, <laughs> yeah. you know. It almost like a Filipino, a Filipino dessert. That's a yeah. good point. I give it I like authenticity that. on the banana part, on the real banana. It wasn't crazy, crazy. And that's why I appreciate it. I, I do like the, the realistic taste, yeah. the natural right. taste of the banana. All right, you guys, I'm dipping that in there. I gotta try this apple pie because, because I'm a huge fan. Mm. Yo, the real banana works in the McFlurry really well, though. Mm. Do you guys like that crust over like the original oh, yeah. pie crust? Oh, yeah. You like this crust better? Yeah. And how does it taste compared to the American apple pie? I actually think the apple slices are more like brighter and citrusy. Look, traditionally, I brighter. like me a baked apple pie. I'm not sure if I mess with the fried apple pie. All right, you guys, it's the next day. As you guys may know, McDonald's always has two menus. Whew. You got breakfast, yep. and then you have lunch and dinner. Now, David, in America, I really love the breakfast menu, but I've never tried the Singaporean, or really, we never wake up early enough to try the Asian breakfast menu, ever. That's a good point. And usually, actually, in Asia, they'll have like a, at least in Chinese countries, they'll have like a kanji or something like that. Uh, I don't know if they have kanji for breakfast here, but I do see they've got scrambled egg burgers with chicken bacon, scrambled egg burger with sausage. So they, they definitely have some unique items that we gotta check out. This is the Singapore McDonald's breakfast. Let's go. Andrew, these Singaporean breakfast items have arrived. Yep. Immediately, I'll tell you this, these look super impressive. The yeah. drinks. This is the Himalayan iced latte. You got the double choco. And then you have your um, green tea latte. I was like, oh, do you have that stencil for the character of Cha? And then she goes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she went and sprinkled the, the character. Oh, that's good. You know what's interesting, Andrew? You have to go get these drinks at a separate station. This is the Himalayan iced latte. Kind of good. Kind of tastes like a Thai tea of some sort. Yeah. Except a mountainous version. Tastes like kind of Nepalese. Yeah. Double choco. Bro, I'm keeping this one. David, what are some other unique items? Immediately. Obviously, you have the happy potato fries. Honestly, look a little bit creepy, but kind of like emojis. Did you guys see the hot Milo, though? This, this is Andrew. This is what the majority of people were getting. Yeah. Dude, Milo fuels Singapore. 
I'm convinced. David, I'm eating this happy face. Potato smileys. A lot of potato. I don't mind that, bro. A little chili and a little ketchup. Not a lot of salt. You know what? They don't salt their food too much here. Okay, they're not as good as fries, of course, but decent. I definitely think they're for a younger demographic. Let's just take a look at the different emojis available. Did you get the heart one? I got the winky face and then just heart eyes cat. We gotta get into some of the breakfast dishes, Andrew. You have something that you would never find in America. This what, is a McChicken muffin. So this is essentially the McChicken patty in an Egg McMuffin. You know what I realized, Andrew? They got a lot of chicken on chicken here. Oh yeah. Because I have a chicken sausage on scrambled egg here. Wow. So a lot of mayo. Oh, I like that. That's good. Dip it in a little chili. Yo, I mess with this. This is delicious. The amount of cheese, the amount of mayo, the chicken patty is nice and peppery. Uh, along with the egg, overall, I'm liking this sandwich a lot. Four out of five. Okay. Starting off strong. This is good for people with uh, really like not a lot of teeth because if you think about it, every layer was incredibly easy to cut through. Okay. It was a little soft for me though. A little mushy. Okay, David, I have the chicken bacon. I would say that this was a signature item. I've also got these scrambled eggs, just a whole hash brown in there. There's chili sauce in there right now. Yeah, that chicken bacon does a good job. Tastes like something from Jack in the Box. I'm a little bit used to that English muffin texture for breakfast sandwiches. It's a little bit stronger, a little bit more dense. This stuff is a little fluffy for me. You're right, kind of reminds me a little bit of Jack in the Box because as you know, Jack in the Box does giant breakfast burritos yeah. in a way that McDonald's does not. I give it a three. I'm gonna give this a 3.5. Last but not least, Andrew, go for it. Try the corn, putting the apple slices. Corn is plump, literally no flavoring. No salt, no butter. All right, Dave, I was questioning where these apples were from because I was like, yo, where do they source the apples? And it seems like maybe they're from Malaysia. They even skin them for you. So in a way, these apple slices are better than the ones in America. Yeah, that's true. My favorite drink was the double choco. My favorite drink actually is this Himalayan ice latte. Of the McDonald's food items, I will have to say, Andrew, chicken muffin <coughs> with egg. The item. chicken muffin with egg is the best sandwich that we had. I was very impressed with the chicken bacon. I, I would go with the McCafe items, obviously on the drinks. I think the latte art was pretty impressive. I think my major takeaway from Singapore McDonald's breakfast was the items do feel a lot lighter. It's because it's made out of chicken. And because such a large population due to religious reasons can't eat pork or won't eat pork, they make chicken into so many different forms. But actually, overall, like you said, chicken is healthier. In the States, we oh. have turkey bacon. After Ooh. coming here to Singapore, I'm taking chicken bacon over the American turkey Damn bacon. It. What's up with America and turkey? Well, I think it's because turkey is native to America and people feel the need to use them. It's just not as good as chicken. Here's the weird thing about America. One day a year, everybody eats turkey and we all know it's worse than chicken. That's weird to me. We are wrapping up here for the lunch dinner menu here at Singapore Woo! McDonald's. Guys, what are your highlights? I've been actually behind the scenes every time between I've been taking a bite of the That's uh, true. Big chicken. Yo, yeah, I saved this. this is... Yo, we were cleaning up at halftime. I was like, yo, Richie, is that trash? He goes, Richie goes, no, 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 that still has a lot of sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of different stuff at, at the end of the day, but I wouldn't say there's like an overall identity of Singapore McDonald's. If you didn't know you were in Singapore, you wouldn't really this could know be anywhere which else. country. Yeah, yeah, you just know that this would not yeah, be America. Yeah. No. When it comes to the beef and the chicken, I did not think the chicken was gonna overpower the beef like that. So I'm really surprised where that beef was a little bit lacking. But sauces though, curry sauce, taking some home. What was your favorite thing outside of the mixed spice? I'm gonna go with the uh, buttermilk pineapple. Pineapple Cheese sandwich. That yeah. was fire. Crazy. That was fire. Oh, Jojo. I would say the sleeper, maybe in a weird way, was the barbecue egg. Mm, the yeah. Barbecue yeah. Egg. yeah. And I think that one was not expensive, it was cheap. That so, was yeah, the best cheap. beef burger that we tried. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I personally like the chicken wings. I love the curvy sauce. Shout out to the Latte R2 at the McCafe. Oh yeah. man. Art, you guys, thank you so much for watching our series McDonald's Around the World. This one was Singapore. Yo, huge shout out to Rich, Tan. Always appreciate you guys missing Johnny. Where to next? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, oh, what's the next Asian McDonald's we're gonna get up? Maybe it's Vietnam? Lefauver? I just threw it out there. No, they have McDonald's now, right? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be crazy. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that. In the comments down below, let us know what are some other international McDonald's items that we did not have. Like, and let us know where you can find them. Yeah. Or Whether maybe it's like, uh, the Philippines, we're talking about Vietnam. What? And also list one that Singapore McDonald's needs to have. Oh. They might need the chili crab. I burger. think they need a chili crab burger, man. That's chili crab. Throwing it out there. Crazy. Check out all the links below. We are here for Culture Cartel Con 2019. Shout out to them. 
And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. I really wanted to try the blueberry egg tart. What's the Kaya egg tart? Ooh, like the egg tart Layer. topping wow. on top. I love egg tarts. And I love Kaya toast. Okay. This is perfect.